Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another stream. This is the Count of Monte Fisto, back yet again for another Super Mario RPG stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, this will be part one, and that won't make a lot of fucking sense, because I'm about three hours into the game. Um, silly me, uh, last night's stream, I forgot to hit the record button. So if you're following me on YouTube, make sure to also follow me on Twitch, because uh, sometimes I fuck up. It happens. What can I say? Come um, on! <laughs> Come on, God damn it. Fuck you, Come Gaseous. On. I'm doing my best. Come on, Dashi. Oh, I know. Come on! Um, yeah, so I guess, like, uh, really, we'll kind of go through all of my uh, points, my observations, through the first stream of this, but, uh, really... The some distress is uh, this is like one of my all-time favorite games. Period, the original anyway. I've probably played it more times than like 99.9% of motherfuckers who played it because I would just like play through this game then like immediately start a new file. Um, to the point where I can't really play the original too much anymore, uh, aside from like randomizers. It's pretty fun. It's just like it's not that like I wouldn't enjoy it honestly. It's just like fuck. Can I rationalize playing through Mario RPG again for the 40th time when there's other games to play? But uh, apparently, yes, I can, because they released this uh, remake, this remaster. I guess remake, right? That's probably a better word for it, even though it's it's very faithful. Um, I guess one of the coolest things that uh, is in this game is there's a slight pitch up in difficulty. Not much, but it is noticeable, which is nice. Uh, your timing attack's got to be a little bit more tighter. And uh, the UI is a lot better, and they stuck close to Ted Woolsey's original translation, which is, like, fucking phenomenal. Um, they changed the Pogo Shy guys from Shysters to uh, words that do not make you think of tiny caps. So I, I guess that's expected, although uh, they'll always be Shysters to me. Um, what else? Anything else? I don't know. I guess there's a lot to cover here. Let's just jump in. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just I thoroughly like this game. It's rare that I play the newest games being released. I hate, I hate Trend Chasers, and I hate, uh, trying to ride the fucking algorithm, because the people who do are usually douchebags, like, uh, Razorcuck and, um, Pro Jared, I also saw playing this one. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? It's weird. Some dude named Taylor must be fucking around on the Switch. I'll have to kick that guy's ass. Probably a chick. Uh, let's see. I might replay the original sometime. My cartridge should be at my dad's house. Should grab it sometime. Oh, it's a great game. Um, the original's fantastic. They, um, Nintendo has been doing pretty good with uh, porting the original. Um, different shit. Uh, Super Nintendo Classic, or Raspberry Pi is probably how I would play the original, honestly, nowadays. But I still have the original cartridge. Alright, so let's dive right into it. Oh, the uh, the cutscene um, where the sword came down into, you know, Xor came down into the uh, castle was pretty fucking well done. Yeah, the UI is just really clean for this one. But yes, the uh, the bestiary. I think that's the word I was trying to find. The uh, the bestiary in this game is just phenomenal, full of a lot of really funny flavor text that fits right in with Woolsey's um, original translation. Which goes to show that any moron uh, weeaboo bitching about Ted Woolsey, like, oh my god, Final Fantasy IV was a terrible translation. Motherfucker, he did that in a week, and they were like, no, we're not changing the character limit. Have fun, fucker. <laughs> it's like, all right. Uh, the dude the, <laughs> the dude with what he had to do is, like, crazy. Uh, fucking legend. I, have no, I really do have nothing but respect for the guy. And also, a lot of weebs just have no concept for localization. Like, no, it has to be one-to-one, -one, baby. Bestiary isn't a word, silly. I said bestiary. It's hard to say. Uh, this, the monster list. Fuck you. Same thing. Uh, mostly there's a nice little scrapbook. It's it's not the, uh... Like, biggest thing, but, um... 
even like playing Tales of Destiny right now, I, I kind of get confused with what the fuck I was doing and where I was going until I play for like 30 minutes. Yeah, JRPGs are kind of a bitch to go back to if you like, um, you know, play on the weekend, then do a work week, and then play the next weekend. You're like, holy shit. So anyway, we just found out that Malo is not a tadpole. Which, uh, you know, not really a spoiler, if, if you look at him, uh, he's not a tadpole. There we are. I have a retro so I can rip my own game cards. Okay, to play on emulators and backup saves. Nice. Do you have a flash card? Um, because I have a flash card for, a uh, what, Sega Genesis for the Mega SG, and that, that really is a fucking game changer right there. I was thinking of getting one for the, like, a 64 or something. Um, but speaking of which, uh, retro, um, well, fucking analog, there we go. Analog is actually making, they announced recently, a Nintendo 64, like, HDMI, like, Nintendo 64, uh, FPGA, which is pretty... Looks sick. I mean, I might get that along with a flash card. That'd actually be pretty fucking sick, honestly. Maybe maybe a better controller. Uh, like, there's like a Japanese-only controller that kind of has like a GameCube uh, analog stick. That thing was pretty fucking sick, honestly. I have an NES flash card. I mean to get one for the SNES. Yeah, it's, uh, it really is a game changer. I'm glad I got one for the Genesis or the uh, Mega SG. Yellow tiles, yada yada yada. Hop on them. How do I get that one over there? I forget. Now, oh, what are you doing, Layla? Very cute, girl. All right, so we're gonna kick these guys' ass. And I love that it tells me I can't block some of these, because like honestly, as a young baby, I was like, how do I block some of this shit? And it would have been nice to know, no, that one you <laughs> can't block. You know how to keep an idiot busy, Nintendo. I'll give you that much. Alright, so let's uh, try to learn the uh, the Snapdragon first. I've seen a lot in this life. Here we are. So yeah, um, perfect uh, blocks, like the original one. You have to be uh, well perfect with it. I think attacks work the same way. But here you get like a little Protoss shield, which is kind of weird. But, uh... Fuck it, you get used to it. Um, a lot of the characters are definitely more meaty. Wish people would stop confusing me with my cousin. And, uh, then you have your chain, which you do get little, um... Uh, buffs for. Which, once again, with, um, the AoE damage... And the more meaty enemies, it actually... It's pretty balanced, honestly. I'm just wondering if in Monster Town the dude doesn't like um, reward you based on super jump attempts, but instead of how high your like chain goes. I feel like they probably incorporate somewhere. Yeah, see how much more meaty they are. It's uh, kind of crazy. I guess also the original game is like way like it's it's a quick game. It's an easy game. When you play the original, so this makes it a little bit more, uh, yeah, it's more meaty. It's appreciated. There we go. 24 chain, baby. Yes, I have that Hori controller you're talking about. It really is a good controller. Recommended. Um, was it originally Hori? I think there was originally, like, a Japanese-only, like, game, uh, like, controller made by Nintendo, unless it was, like, made by Hori and then just licensed by Nintendo. But yeah, they're, like, kind of tiny, and they have the, uh, little analog stick right in the center. It's kind of weird looking. It looks almost too small, but actually is, you know, way better than the, uh, original Nintendo 64 controller. Not that that's a hard order. Alright, shit, we learned Super Jump, baby! Alright, so we got one and one. You don't want that shit. 2 and 1. We might want that shit. Or 3 HP. Honestly, kind of a shitty level up. Uh, do we want the physical or the max HP? 3 isn't that much. Hmm. I don't know. 
we'll go HP. Fuck it. If it was like three or four, um, then yeah, we would definitely want to go that route. Oh shit. Avoid that cunt. Also, another thing, you get the uh, signal ring in this game way early. Like, you get the signal ring immediately in this game. You get from the uh, chick in the basement in the first um, town. Uh, did we? No, we haven't um, read the uh, Shy Guy. Let's try a super jump. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. I probably will. Let's do it anyway. Need to work on that. We can do better. Also, um, fuck, seeing some of the bigger enemies is like really like bizarre. Like, uh, Haywood J. Below me. Um, he looks like way different. Actually, we can use a gauge move. Let's use our toad assist. What does that do? It's all, it's a lucky star. Action, attack, command, succeed for two turns. But yeah, until you get uh, three characters, um, that's your uh, limit break as this toad comes out and helps you. But uh, we're about to get Gina. Forgot this area, and same thing with the uh, sewers. Really are just a lesson on <laughs> fucking status ailments, Jesus. Well, welcome to our new hell, guys. I believe it was made by Hori, but officially licensed by Nintendo. Gotcha. How many Mario RPG games are there? Well, they're not really related. Um, Mario RPG is Nintendo and Square. Uh, the Paper Mario series is just straight up Nintendo. I think there might have been another company in there. And then the Mario and Luigi games are a different company with license by Nintendo. But there's uh, Mario RPG, Paper Mario, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and then there's like four or five Mario and Luigi games. But those are the RPG ones, because the Paper Mario franchise gets really fucking weird and not very RPG-y, in my opinion. They, it's like they keep getting more and more experimental. I guess, uh, was the most recent one? I mean, I guess it is an RPG, but it's just, it's fucking weird. Is Bowser's War Story an RPG? Yes, that was a Mario and Luigi game. Yeah, see that? Like, 4 HP, that's what you want. Oh, 3 attack! Oh my god, I might say fuck the 4 HP. Yeah, 3 attack. 3 attack, 4 HP. We want the 3 attack. Fucking Malo will be a strong-ass nerd. Alright, so let's do a super jump. Fuck, so close to 30. So fucking close to 30. Um, and the original, you get a reward for um, 30 hits, like, much later on in the game. And then a uh, reward for 100, which is, like, good luck. <laughs> good luck with that. I think I might have gotten it once, but I'm not sure if that's just, like, a bullshit fake memory. You know how your brain be sometimes. Uh, nah, I guess we'll just wait until we get a level up or something. Oh, that's cute. When he's muted, he's not smiling. It's funny. Oh, wow. We got that one easy. Shit. Oh, in the original game, that one's kind of a bitch to get, really. Yeah, it's just such a great game. Um, once again... <laughs> I'm just a little bit salty, because, like, as much as a mega fan of this game I am, I know I can't.
can't compete with the uh, numerous massive influencers that are also playing this fucking game. Now let me tell you why Mega Man X3 is the greatest game ever. I played only about two Super Nintendo games. Who am I? <laughs> Any guesses? Any guesses? I'll give you a hint. I'm a dude who should hit the gym and also stick with politics. At least you aren't bitter. Oh, of course not. Me? Bitter? Moi? <laughs> What's that? That's from a uh, fucking. <laughs> Wait, what was that from? <laughs> oh yeah, Razor Cock. Absolutely. Look at you, Ben Shapiro. I guess they both are. Uh, remind me of Tiny Hats quite a bit. Um, fuck. Uh, Terminator 2. <laughs> what does the, the little fucking kid say? He's like, "Are you calling moi a dipshit?" What a fucking great game, like seriously. Like the charm of this game is just absolutely just unmatched. Um, let's see, we do want that fucker's uh, item. And I guess we could also, you know, practice a bit. God damn, they won't even let me kick their ass. Anyway, another thing I'm wondering, actually, um, do you think they removed the 30 level cap? Like, if there's super bosses beyond super bosses and boss rematches, allegedly, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I wonder if they removed the, uh, level 30 cap. Because in the original game, you actually, like, if you, um, grind a little bit, you hit that cap. And you are very fucking strong as a result. Shit. There we go. Alright, at least, uh, fuck, w w what's that other guy that I keep- I always confuse with, uh, Pro Jared? Um, what's that guy's fucking name? Um, Scott the Waz, Jesus Christ. He doesn't stream, right? He just makes shitty videos. I resent that. I love Scott the Waz, says some rando chat now. <laughs> Aw, Layla, you're so sweet. Hold up. My dog wants love. Aww. Uh, yeah, in the original game, if you beat Kulex, then you're super overpowered, essentially. Well, that's the whole reason Kulex was in the original game, right? Is because, you know, it just says a fucking super, super boss. He's like a fun, ultimate challenge. Never seen Squat the Waz video. Um, if you like Sonic, uh, I recommend, I mean, you know, viewer beware. Check out his uh, Sonic CD video. The dude, uh, one of his complaints with Sonic CD is that the um, levels are unrealistic. It's like, oh, I just, I couldn't imagine a place like this existing. It's like, jackass, it's Sonic. There's giant loop-de-loops on the fucking landscape. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? And even then, uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, nothing good like this could exist on Earth. It's like, yeah, did you watch the video? It takes place on a planet that's not Earth, you cunt. Oh my god. I, like, why were you even playing the game, motherfucker? Like, seriously. Makes me wonder. Shit! Oh my god! It gets hard when you're getting close to 30. Sonic 1 review wasn't that much better either. I didn't watch it, honestly. I watched the Sonic CD one, I'm like, I'm good. Uh, I like what Gabe Newell said. I don't want realism in my games. Yeah, but it's like, here's the thing, is like, so many, like, most games are unrealistic. It's something people pull out their ass if they just want to dislike a game, but they don't want to stop and think about why. I'm fine if someone dislikes a game. 
but like at least think about why and try to like word it you know if you wanted realism you wouldn't be playing a game with an anthropomorphic blue autism hog exactly yeah like if you dislike a game uh, you know th think about it like put pen to the paper try to fucking brainstorm what it is about the game you don't like don't just be like oh, i don't want to think about it uh, it's unrealistic it's dumb What the fuck is that? Flower essence. Oh, nice. But yeah, but I, I personally thought uh, Sonic CD was legitimately a really good game. Now, if you're going for 100% completion, good fucking luck. But I would say that's a kind of a pain in the ass to do in any of the Sonic games, the older ones. Uh, not unique to Sonic CD. I really want to break 30. Fuck. In case you're wondering why I'm doing this. Also, we have flower jars for days, so... He's already dead. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the only Sonic game I 100%ed. Having a battery save was a huge plus. Yeah, it seemed, uh, doing that seems like a lot of work, but I'd be curious about doing it someday. Um, I did when I streamed Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I had a lot more respect for it than I used to. Sorry, I have to try that again. This is going to be the stream. I already got the 30, so, you know, fuck it. There we go. Alright, come on. Come on, fucker. Give me, give me your goddamn thing. Is that really all I threw? Um, I think that does fill up my flowers, though. So. Fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, interesting Sonic CD, uh, Sega CD games. Wouldn't be funny if you forgot to start the recording software again. Two steps ahead of you, baby. No, I, I, I got it. I, I know, it's weird. It's like, it's such a fucking ritual, you know what I mean? That it's just weird when I forget it. I'm like, how the fuck did I forget it, you know? I, mean, it's not the, I, I think it's like the third time total in my streaming career. This is a career. Uh, that I fucking, <laughs> I fucking done it. Fucking dick, come on. But I think now we can go all the way around, fuck. No, 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 there's, there's a f Come on, go, go. Get me out of here. Did you leave the footage from the previous stream? Oh, no. I just forgot to hit the fucking record button. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you have too much faith in me, Collected G. Yes, it was a glitch. I just didn't fucking get it. How long have you been here, Collected G? Um, you and Raylo on my, my screen are both purple. Fuck, you've been here for a while. I blended both of you fuckers in my brain as one human being. <laughs> I just, I read chat by color. What can I say? Hmm. And 
my eyes, you guys are all colored. Uh, oh shit. Let's kick this guy's ass. Oh, why you fuck you? <laughs> fuck you, you dick. Uh, alright, let's do it on Arachne. They call me Arachne because I lack knees. What? You lost me on that one. You tried and you failed. Oh god. Shit, he's just gonna get more damage. Why are you doing this to me? Been here since the beginning, had to make some dinner. Oh god, you made me lose my combo! Uh, where if you don't get the last coin, refills the chest, you leave the area and come back. Huh, I actually never knew that. Um, what I would do for money in this game was I would just like sell my Caro Caro Colas because you get 200 coins for it, which is just insane. You can also do that a lot faster than this one. Fuck. I think your speed has to be really high for those cunts. Alright, fuck you. We're doing it again. Shit. Fuck you. Alright, one day we'll get that 100. Um, <laughs> it might have to be like some point where I'm trying to like 110% complete the fucking game on my own time. Alright, come on. One dick. Get out of here. I don't want to become OP or anything. This is one of the few games where I won't get into every fucking battle. As a fucking kid, I would do that, but... You know, I've played the original game so many times, I actually appreciate having more of a challenge for the bosses. Yeah, it's weird seeing the fucking Terrapins with their, like, helmets. I legit saw them as having, like, white curly, like, afros in the original game. I don't know, I, I, maybe, maybe you could see it if you saw the original sprites. Uh, Alright, people, form ranks. Jagger, head of the Shelled Warriors. Wizakoopa, <laughs> master of the grand wizards. Hell yeah. Not last but not least, Goomilhide, Goomhild, grand dame of groundling Goombas. Oh, that's a fucking fucked up sentence. This is our finest moment. Bowser's minions are invincible, and we shall be victorious. I always thought Diglett's nose was his mouth. Yeah, I always wondered. I always wondered if any like really degenerate chick ever got like Diglett tattooed on her glitterus. Cause you know they, they look like glitteruses. In fact, I, you know when I did my uh, Pokemon Blue playthrough, I think I named uh, just because Diglett their dig is one of the fastest fucking moves in the game, and you dodge the first hit. <laughs> you dodge the first hit when you use Dig. And uh, speed, like the crit stat, is based on speed. So I mean, Dig, uh, like Diglett's actually fucking broken as shit. But anyway, yeah, I named my Diglett uh, Mega Clit because when it's you know uh, Doug Trio, that would be a Mega Clit if a chick had three clits, all coming out of the same hood. Goomba look like pee pee. Yeah. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. It's how toads uh, make love as well. They remove their hats. Shove their heads in each other's buttholes. Bowser and his minions must be on their way to Bowser's Keep. Come on, Rose Sounds is up ahead. They did a really good job on this game. They really did. Pleasantly surprised. Alright, let's get Geno, baby. Oh, wow, this looks way fucking spooky here. See, arrows come flying out of the forest. When you're hit, you can't move. You can't move a muscle. Now I ha know how a scarecrow feels. Like this. 
stones and shit look like graves. It's a day of shooting starfowl in the forest. Arrows have been showering our town. I can't move! Nice, I dig it. There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please, help me get back up to my house. Not a problem, baby. Found me, huh? I love how I just know all this shit. Found me, huh? What are you doing walking around here, though? You must be pretty bored. This is true, but fuck you. This is like a bucket you can stand. I think I'm thinking of the one in, uh, uh, Moleville. Which I always saw them as, uh, black people, by the way. We, you, which, now that everything's higher res, it's gonna kind of ruin my imagination. It's really calm about just getting paralyzed. It probably had us a shitty life. It's like, ah, fuck it. What does it matter? Nice. Where is it, actually? There you are. Hey! Taking daddy so long, do you think he's still looking for treasure? <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot about this. Thanks a million Mario. <laughs> Say, were my treasures okay? I wouldn't say so. You're kidding! <laughs> fuck, I love it. the humor in this game is so good. Mario is just a fucking asshole. What? They're gone! Mario, you're the only one who could have reached them. Sorry, I got carried away. Oh well, since so you didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit the area with four paths, left, left, straight, right. I'll fucking write this down. Uh, left, left, straight, right. This always confused me as a young baby, because I'm like... I didn't know it was from like Mario's perspective, you know what I mean? For surely find something nice. I think I just like fucking. Well, I mean, I guess you're following Gino. Or no, he's directing you towards his like super secret treasure. I can't do a lot right now, so I'll ask you this. Have you seen the mushrooms in the forest? No. There are two kinds of mushrooms. One terrorizes people, and the other helps people avoid the former. Oh, just curious. Can't go up there yet. Oh no, this is not good. Now I can't go to the forest to chop up my wood. He's really into s and uh, I want to go someplace fun. Standing around here is so boring. I tell you, it's scary out here, but someone's got to pump the water. We're told not to go outside because it's too dangerous. Grandpa's pumping water for us. I wish we could help too. I'm worried about my grandson. He went out to, the pl to play, but he didn't come back when he should have. If I was right there, the grandpa does not give a fuck. It's like, yeah, little Billy's fine. He's just got an arrow sticking out of his head. My husband still hasn't come back. I wonder what's keeping him. Yeah, it's like a cool way to play the game. I still think the original game like has merit to keep playing. Um, but really, Mario RPG is such a good game. Just play it. it doesn't really matter how you fucking play. If you were on a plane, how would you play? Throttle up and down or away? Mario, good to have a customer to last. What do you need? Well, let's see what you got, baby. Um, should we, yeah, God, honey syrup's actually kind of experience. I just notice that their heads are targets. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I just thought that the, uh, that might just be coincidental, honestly. I think they change every, um... Uh... Toad Town have a different pattern hat. I mean, it might be intentional, I'm not sure. Oh, Mario, it's nice to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? Well, let's definitely buy a thick shirt. And equip that, baby. Equip that. Uh, do we want the fearless pin? I mean, kind of. God damn, that's expensive. Holy shit. I guess we could always sell a Caracara Cola if we really need to. Fine, just give it to me. What can we sell, though? 
Yeah, look at that shit. 200 coins. Now you can carry three. Oh, that's interesting. That's like, a uh, Once again, some tales of shit. Limiting. Like, you can carry yeah, all the shit, but it's uh, limiting how much you can carry of each. The original had just a limited set inventory, but it's pretty generous. Um, do you want to sell the Caro Caro Cola? I mean, we have this shit, and that's like 200 coins. Yeah, but, mm, You don't have to. Yeah, let's hold on to it. It can be like a fucking credit card. Use it when we need to. Use credit cards, boys and girls. Get your credit up as much as you can. Credit is important. You gotta build it up at a young, young age. You can't buy anything if you're not in debt. Trust me, would I lie? The stream has been brought to you by MasterCard. And our good friends over in the Middle East, our strongest ally. Mario, help! <laughs> I like how the dolls like move. That's yeah, funny. Like like the uh, the arms and legs of physics. Ragdoll physics is cute. Uh, hey Mario, I'm taking care of Princess Peach now. Boing, boing. Super jump attack. <laughs> yeah, it's still funny all these years later. You think you'd hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Peach, you're coming with me. Zip your lip. Help, somebody, please help me. Uh, oh my gosh. It's... Mom, look, we have a guest. Yes, dear, I hear you. Look there. Why, aren't you Mario? For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. You betcha there. How do I know it's you? You must be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. Hey, all right. Hey, Mario, you want to play with me? I'm saving, playing Save the World. Now, Gaz, Mario might be a little tired, dear. Aw, oh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear, Mario, I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a while? Yes, Mario, just bought the farm, so uh, you can be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Ready? Let's play where I left off. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a cute uh, little um, Bowser sound they did. Uh, I, I always like the um, the original, like, rah, 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 rah. it uh, kind of sounds like... Um, I mean, I guess I don't really know what it sounds like. Uh, I also really like the uh, Mario Kart 64 Bowser sound. The, like, fucking shrieking growl. And then Nintendo went and made Mario Sunshine, and they were like, let's give Bowser a voice, and, and we can't forget that. We need one of those neuralizers for Men Black to forget that one. Uh, ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gina's gonna blow you away. Take this. Hmm. But yeah, like, they really took a lot of attention to detail to, like, preserve the feel of the original game. A lot. Your turn, Bowser. <laughs> ah, if he keeps... Oh, no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. The Super Duper Custom Patch One and Only Shooting Star Shot. Ah, uh, hmm. All right, spoke too soon. The original game, it was like a fucking missile. Like, it was like a fucking bullet bill that exploded. <laughs> Oops, I uh, think I missed. Oh dear, oh my, Mario, you're alright? Like, the shot was fucking lethal as hell in the original game. Like, you're like, what the fuck? Oh, cool. Once again, I really wish, uh... Tales of Destiny had something like this. I'm sure they introduce it later on the future Tales games. You really want a cutscene to introduce a new character. Did I want Geno and Smash Bros? Yeah, like anyone who played Mario RPG wanted Geno and Smash Bros. Yeah, 
It, it's almost like I don't know if it was just they w didn't want. They like they were afraid of being sued by Square, but Nintendo acted like this game didn't exist for like fucking 15 years. Until they like re-released for the Wii Virtual Console and started releasing it for Virtual Consoles and shit. All right, to the forest, baby. Fuck, uh, there you are. I'm so used to things defaulting to no, honestly, and also no being on the right and yes being on the left. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. Isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Oh, Mom, that was just, well, you know. Now, this is for real. I swear, Mom, really, it's true. I just saw him outside. All right, guys, let's hear it. Where are you trying to get out of this time? Mom, I didn't do anything, really. I saw Gino walking into the forest. Oh, this boy is impossible. Sorry if I hurt you, but what would Gino want in the forest? Uh, let's see. I have no idea why they didn't add Gino or Mala to Smash Bros. I mean, they had Cloud, Sephiroth, and Sora. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. It is weird. Play Deadly Premonition 2. O is yes and X is no. Oh, what? In terms of, like, on-screen prompts or, like, uh, controller prompts? Because um, there's quite a few Japanese RPGs that do that uh, because, like... Like Maru, like the circle icon is like good and yes on like Japanese quiz shows. Remember the X Batsu? It's like no, you're wrong. Fuck you. So that's what they were going for for the original uh, PlayStation controller was like circle was supposed to be confirm, X was supposed to be cancel, um, square was supposed to be like a menu button. That's why it's the square. And then triangle was supposed to be like a map, like a navigation thing. But yeah, then game devs just do whatever the fuck they want. They're like, all right, well, it was a neat idea. There we are. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, shit. Give me that uh, fucking mushroom, cunt. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I fucking love that. You can't carry in more of an item. Extra items are sent to storage box in Marty's Bad. You can take items out of storage in there. Makes it oh, be make it uh, blip, blip, blip. that's going to make it really easy to uh sell shit um to the mushroom boys in uh Rose Town or no Seaside Town. Let's try another super jump. God damn it. Eh, no, whatever. Um, thought peak. And I fucked up. Wow. Talking loogies on me and shit. I'm just a friendly, harmless caterpillar. Oh, I bet, motherfucker. I saw your bitch ass in Mario 64. Oh god damn! Yeah, fear is like a real shit. It's as ammo, it just makes your uh, attack suck. Anytime. Oh god, let's just go down. Anytime someone calls the X button a cross button, I come out of their screen and punch them in the face. Is that like a British thing? Um, this Mario's pad is more just a free in. You know, the cross is very interesting significance to our large nose friends. Oh, absolutely. Uh, can you do cross? Uh, anytime you write God, you have to star out the O. Yeah. I'm reminded of when you autistically attempted to cast status ailments 
on bosses in Fantasy Star 4 over and over and over. It worked the first time, Gassus. Did that fucking one, and it's actually pretty fucking cool. What was it? It was like an instant death or something? It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I'm used to like Final Fantasy games where every boss is usually weak to at least one status ailment, unless they're like the end boss, you know? Uh, god damn it. Um, who wants to uh, block that fucking queer? Um, we have like 40 fucking mods in chat because I like modding people. <laughs> so whoever wants to uh, block and report to the robot, go for it. You have my blessing. Shit, I need to, uh, fucking... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's do this. Oop. Sometimes I just want to bask in the sun. Oh, you can still block his mushrooms. Awesome. Unless I should try to use that. Oh shit, goddamn. Spooked me. They blend in a lot easier in this one, I think. Uh, let's see what Toad is this. What a weird fucking concept that he has, like, Koopa Troopa shells with bat wings on a stick and he's like an Octorot from, uh, Zelda. My wingy thingies are pretty cool, right? Yeah, a lot of the enemy design in this game is really fucking out there. But, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Eh, we can try a super jump. I'll see a thunderbolt. Yeah. Thought those things were eyes in the original. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies where I saw them as different shit in the original. Because once again, a lot of the enemies were so fucking weird, but also, you know, they were fully 3D rendered Donkey Kong Country style, but then they were just digitized and shrunken down. Um, it made some of the detail hard to really imagine. Getting some honey syrup, which is nice. Let's use the last of the flower tab. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. Eh. Let's see if he's got any unique enemies in this party. Nope. But we get some money from him. Eh, eh, eh. Alright, so you gotta be like extra cautious around those fuckers. <laughs> you really do. Got it. Uh, Thought Peak, let's do it. Shit, I, I hit that way too soon. Oh shit, goodbye, Malo. <laughs> I hardly knew you. Yeah, they made, like, the uh, enemies hit harder, they made uh, the timing attacks more, um, narrow. Uh, they did a lot of shit for this one. Actually, I should be using HP rain more, honestly. 
Or, you know, we're in the fucking forest. We have all these mushrooms. Let's do some of these. Yeah, the fuck's wrong with me? Seriously. Yeah, once again, I'm so used to not needing items, <laughs> like, at all in this game. Hmm. I really do appreciate... Someone who grew up with this fucking game, I really appreciate the jump up in difficulty, even though it's not much. It's uh, noticeable and appreciated. Let's check out what these are. Fuck. Well. Here we are, we have Kunta Kinte uh, Donkey Kong. Yo, name is Toby. Donkey Kong. Yo, name is Toby. I'm a work of fiction, and your resemblance to pre-existing apes is purely coincidental. Fuck, I need to find this hidden ass chest. I need it. I need it in my life. God damn, just fucking die already. I need to start using HP rain. I really do. Fuck. Alright, I feel like it should be here. I will jump around forever. If that's what it... Oh, there we are. Found it. Oh, nice. All the more reason to use special abilities more. What Donkey Kong looks like after you get lanky. Was it like a, uh, tell me about the rabbits, George kind of situation? Alright, we want to be careful. We don't want to battle these fuckers too much. Once again, all the more reason to... You know, you want some difficulty in the game. You really do. So you do actually want to avoid some of the battles. Once again, when I was a young baby, I would... uh Oh, nice. I would legit... Just battle every fucking enemy. So one of the cool things about um, Paper Mario, right, is that you have the uh, whole system where you have diminishing returns as you level up. Like the amount of XP per enemy is set depending on your level. So if you're too high a level, you only get like one XP. Um, I don't know, just an interesting way of doing it. Uh, let's see what we got here. These are Totuses. Oh, nice. Power Mushroom. Nice. Shit, full health, baby. Uh, let's use the Thunderbolt. Yeah, we need to use specials a little bit more. Smothered him in the sleep with the coconut. He just didn't like him. Lanky Kong is so likable, though. He's the best character ever made. I right, says so that one. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oof. It's a close one. And down here? Yeah, there is. Hey, bad luck. Ah, shit, I remember that one. And there's so many, like, little, like, weird things throughout the game with all the mini-games, the little jokes, and the 
parts where you can just fuck with NPCs. Uh, the amount of humor and just diversions in this game really was something special. Shit, goddamn, they're quick. Donkey Kong sleeps well in a cell, knowing that Lanky is an L. You're giving a lot of thought to the uh, <laughs> Kill Lanky Kong fanfiction. Did we go down here? I think we did. Yeah, and that was a bad luck one. Alright, so just uh, two more and then we'll continue. Yeah, nothing down here. Yeah, I love the with the like wider resolution. You can see way more of the rooms. Really, it's a game changer. Uh, in Kero Kero uh, sewers, in particular, that was crazy. And also on the Midas River course. It's from a video. I didn't think of this shit. God damn. Sounds like a fun video. I mean, you're in the uh, Discord, aren't you? Yeah, throw that shit on the uh, Discord. Check it out. God, where where could it be? Where is it? I'll find it eventually. I swear to God, we'll stay here all fucking day. Not in the Discord. That's surprising. Do you want to be in the Discord? If not, like, no pressure. Unfortunately, it's, uh, fucking invite only, because, uh, some boomer cunt who's legitimately probably dead from, uh, drugs in the streets of Vancouver. Um, try to fuck with the Discord. Rest in shit, Darcy, you jobless cunt. Fuck! Alright, fine. We'll go back in there. Or he's probably dead in a puddle of his own piss in the welfare hospital. Hey, legitimately probably is. Wholeheartedly. Because I know they, uh... In Canada, they have that, uh, the drug issues. How long have you been taking drugs? It's complicated. Teddy, who gave you the drugs? Does Darcy need to know the lore? Uh, I don't guess. Does he want to do the honors? Um, he was a guy who... Okay, I'll fucking... I guess I'll tell it. Um, Darcy was a dude who's always, like, unhinged. Yeah, bipolar. Gigasper. I mean, that's pretty much the short it, uhness of it. Um, so Darcy's like an uber boomer in his 40s. Much like our good friend Gaseous. Oh, it was right fucking behind him, that's why. I had to clear him out first. Um, but he was one of those types that was, like, very enthusiastic. You know what I mean? Like, bipolar, exactly. Like, he would uh, latch on to different, like, groups and different chats and be really, really, like, uncomfortably involved. To the point where, like, uh, I don't know why. Like, like he would be, like, first motherfucker in every stream randomly. And then you wouldn't hear from him for, like, a month. And then he'd be, like, doing the same shit again. But then, uh, in, like, the Discord, he would start, like, arguments with people. Like, really weird. Like, he would take shit very personally. Um, and, like, try to turn shit into a fight. I'm like, yo, what the... And I'd, like, DM him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck's wrong with you? He's like, ah, just fucking ban me or something. I don't even care. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not here trying to ban you. I'm just trying to understand what the fuck's wrong with you. Like, what's up? Is there something fucked up with you like, going on in your personal life? Like, what the hell, dude? Um, but anyway, then, you know, so he was, like, seemed nice, just fucked up and weird. And it's like, alright, well, 
fucking something's wrong with him. Whatever. I'll be I'll be nice and not fucking kick him from the Discord. Even though he was giving me like weird like serial killer vibes, like just very unhinged. And then uh, one day he um, hanging out with uh, the Groids from uh, Empty Server, the same ones that were uh, kind of like talking shit on you whenever they you would like uh, post one of your um, let's plays. Uh, he fucking, like, gave them all invites to my Discord, and they all were posting, you know, they were doing the generic fucking shit that, uh, people were doing on Twitch for a while, where they would just post, uh, the gamer word and then report the server. Um, but luckily it was, uh, cause it was my first offense, yeah, like, I, I, of what I did, my, my horrible crimes of... Really nothing, it's insane how they fucking manage Discord, but whatever. Um... I guess we'll just follow this cunt. But, uh, anyway, then, yeah, then I just didn't hear from him ever again. But, yeah, so now I, uh, am selective of who I lend the Discord, just because, like, I have to be. You know, it only takes one cunt. If, like, 1% of people are that level of, like, douchebags, I mean... You know, what can I do? Actually, so basically you don't understand boundaries and when schizo everywhere. Yeah, I am mean, pretty much. As I saw him, he was in Joey's stream and he acted like nothing happened. Yeah. No, he is a little bitch. Like, he really is a little bitch. Um. Posted one gif and he reported me and fist his discord like a bitch. Yeah. But yeah, but like he apparently was mad at like one or two of the people in my Discord and decided to like take it out on everyone, like the entire fucking Discord. And it's like I, I don't know, it, just, it doesn't make fucking sense. It really doesn't. Um, hold up, we're gonna do this. Surprise! I didn't fucking kill him. Oh, nice! We have a resistance to that. Yeah, we have the true form pin, don't we? Good to have, because if everyone's a mushroom, you're kind of fucked. Thank you, Milo. I keep reading that as, like, Spirocost instead of Sporcist. Like a Spyro Holocaust. Like Spyro the Dragon is putting everyone on trains. And on like, uh, fucking roller coasters. And bear and eagle cages. And like, sewing babies into soccer balls. And then, you know, constructing movie theaters and pools and soccer leagues for the inmates. That just sounds like a really kick-ass, uh... Fan fiction. I should get like one of those AIs to generate that story for me. Uh, four HP, cool. One and one, not good. One and one, not good. So we're gonna go that uh, HP again. Mario will be meaty. Interesting, uh, I guess like the animations are slow enough here where they have to like pause you. Um, let's see. Thunderbolt. There we go. Nice. Another level up, this will really help for the boss fight. Uh, what the fuck? 6 HP, really? Yeah, 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. You really want to see how much these are increasing by. But yeah, 6 HP is huge. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I'll send you a whisper sometime. <laughs> I'm not as spurry, you trust me. Oh, absolutely, dude. No, no, you've been uh, chilling enough in the uh, chat here that you're chill. I just had to give people a heads up uh, as to why, you know. I had someone like that in my Discord. I had to ban him. Some people just can't handle the temptation of spamming servers. Uh, Collected G, did we ever tell you about the, uh, the trainee? That was pretty legendary. I guess Gassius can give that story. Uh, that's why you had to be a cool kid to be allowed in the club. Um, where the fuck did he go? Is he in here? Fuck, okay, I probably fucked it up. No, I didn't. Huh, nice, beautiful. Ooh, red essence, fucking A. Yes, the trainee, there's uh, someone who, I don't even understand how they found me. Right, or why they followed. But they, I, I believe what they do is, this person, is they follow different discords to then legitimately try to make people pro-trans by spamming the everlasting fuck out of their discord with pro-trans propaganda and uh, memes. I use memes very uh, uh, loosely. Cause you know, like lefty memes, you know what I mean? Where like the lefty memes are just full of words and shit. Oh my god. Dude. It's just fucking weird, man. 997, 998, 991, 1000. Yeah, 1000 arrows. For cover they run. Yeah, this is fun. Yes, yeah. Another 1000 I will shoot. Mario, who is that guy? He must be one of the shooting arrows to Rosan. Oh, gee, you think? Happy I am. Yeah, look, look at their expressions when freeze they do. Oh, they're standing like statues. Yeah, more practice I do need. Oh, no, he's not stopping. We gotta do something. Who do you think you are? You can't just go in there with your fist flying. There's too many of them. We'll be creamed. Oh, no, someone's coming. Let's hide and see if we can learn anything. Yeah, we could have, like, easily kicked the shit out of that arrow and took the star and ran. I mean, I guess that wouldn't really solve Rosan's issues, huh? Look what I found, Bowyer. What? What? Disturb me? You must not. Practicing I am. More arrows I must shoot. More statues I must make. Nya. Stop. Hold it right there. You don't know what you're doing. Return the star to me. Yeah, nya. A stranger you are. And a strange looking at that. Mm, teach you, you must. Who's in charge? Who might you be? Yeah. I serve a higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it. Yeah, yeah. Angry I am. A lesson I will teach you. Remember that scene in Empire where like Yoda pulled out a bow and started like shooting at Luke. Like but like Luke's feet, like that scene in uh, Goodfellas. Mario, it's dangerous to go out there. You're gonna help, huh? Whack that weirdo. Save the guy in blue. Me too. I'll do what I can. But, uh, from over here. I'm not afraid. And I'm not gonna cry. Ah, fuck! Stop it, that's enough! Strong you are! But stronger am I, hurt you I will! So long, but now we must! Mm, eat ass I must! Thanks for the help. But who are you? Mario, you just ditched me back there! Huh? I don't know you, you look familiar. So you're the Mario. We know about you. Knock knock. Yeah. Insulted I am. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Easier ways to enjoy. <laughs> Easier ways to enjoy corn. There are. I like the video of that guy with the Yoda puppet. He slaps its face and Yoda cries. <laughs> Hold on. Let me 
shoot the shit. Post a funny Yoda ASMR video. It's the one where he crushes his cock with a rock. Mm. Sorry, I gotta work through this beer. I gotta. All right, let's see what he's got. Geno Beam. Fire a beam at a single enemy. Hold A until just before at discharge. I'm really good at discharging, bro. Yeah, Gina has some cool fucking attacks. Um, let's use a toad assist. Oh, is that gonna fill up my uh, PP? Nice. Hell yeah, I need my PP filled up. Um, let's see, let's do a thought peek. What's with these folks? They're as funny they are. Furious it makes me. Now uh, three against one. Not fair. Fix it, I will. Shoot an arrow, I shall. Put it when a target hits. Mm, that button locked. Also locked our toad assist. A fair fight between us. Obey my own rule, I will. So no complaints. I like how they kind of incorporate the new uh, mechanics here and there. Yeah, it's just like interesting. It's They've changed enough. They changed just enough where it's really, really interesting and fun um but like not the exact same but really really close so that way i'm not all mad and pissy let's see the yoda asmr where he dies in his studio apartment after doing auto erotic association oh i'm down i want to see the yeah do the regular a bro Hell yeah. Oh shit, god damn, that was a quick one. Uh, Geno Beam. Last you right in the cock, I shall. Mmm, super jump, I will. Oh god damn. All right, he should be fucking real close to death. Uh, let me use a uh, HP rain on uh Gina though. That is fucking crazy though. All right, Gino beam it is, baby. We gotta do another super jump, fuck it. Because we can. God damn. Nya, yeah, bad this is. End of my rope I am. The end it may be. Lock all buttons, I simply must. Oh, it's gonna show off the fucking triple. Interesting. What are we gonna do? He won't let us use a single move. Listen, everyone, we've proven that we're quite the team. Let's join forces, all three of us at once, and take him down. Yeah, say what? If dirty tricks, you'll use the same subtle pool. Uh, no allies do I have to join forces with. You can now use triple moves. Uh, these powerful moves are available when the gauge is 100. Just this once will fill up your gauge for free. Nice. Alrighty. Star Riders. The power of the star pieces deliver a powerful strike to a single enemy. So each combination of characters, of the uh, five characters in the game, um, have a unique triple move, which is pretty cool. Uh, it was actually Yoda snorting coke in the city apartment after masturbating furiously. <laughs> oh, I'm down.
it's cool. Fireball, lightning, and uh, the fucking super laser beam. It fits all three characters. I like it. Nice. Thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? Have you guessed the truth? I'm a visitor from above, and this is a form I'm borrowing briefly. You mean, like, from the sky or something? Higher than that, I'm afraid. Do you know... Do you two know anything about the Star Road? Completely in the dark, huh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now, and it concerns you too. Yeah, I like how this is these older games, right? Especially uh, Paper Mario and um, Mario RPG in particular. They took a surprising amount from Yoshi's Island, Mario 2, and uh, Super Mario World, which I think is just fantastic. Well, my dog is, uh, what are you spooked about? What do you want? You hear some crazy shit outside, girl? Oh, she's so sweet. She's a good girl. She's just a paranoid dog, though. I know. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. Uh, completely in the dark, huh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now, and it concerns you, too. Let me explain. You've heard of wishing upon a shooting star. <laughs> God, you're so cute, sweet dog. At the star road, your wish is transformed into a star. When it's granted, it then turns into a shooting star and falls onto Earth. So you see, the Star Road plays an integral role in granting wishes, but ever since the Star, the Sword, destroyed Star Road, everything has come to a halt. No stars have been made since. The way things stand, yours is a world where wishes can't come true anymore. Are you saying this star is part of your starway? The Star Road, my fluffy little friend. Yes, the star is a broken piece of a Star Road. I'm here to find them all and repair the Star Road broken star pieces. There's seven all together. For piece of return. We must get rid of Smithy. Find the star pieces and repair Star Road. I'm not a gamer word, but that's hard to pronounce, so call me Gino after the doll. I chose him because he looks like the strongest out of all the dolls. That Mario one was a little bitch. Now grab the star, Mario. Beautiful. All right, two down, baby. Five to go. Next one is in Mole Mountain. Home of the black people. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Gino is searching for the pieces of the Star Road, joins Mario and Malo. Things are definitely looking up. Oh, she's a girl. Oh, I heard everything. Who would have known the star was so important? I've got to inform Smithy. The secret to the shooting stars has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring peace back to Mario's world. So that's our goal. Find uh, Princess Peach. Kill Smithy. Get all seven star pieces. And find Malo's parents and true family. It's a cute game. It really is. Strongly recommended. Uh, remake original. Really doesn't matter. Um, just play the fucking game. It's good. Uh, let's see here. Could equip him with... A fearless pen. Oh, let's see here. Uh, special items. It'd be cool if it had like a graphic to it. Um, because I think in the, in the instruction manual for the original game, there's, like, little pictures of some of these items. Although I do not like how the, uh, the background, right? You see the boos and the stars and the, the bombs. That's kind of the background of the original game. It was gray, though, and moving. Still cool. It would be cool if you could move around on the map. Like, zoom in and shit. Moleville region. Oh, we could just go right to Moleville. Weird. Mushroom Kingdom, Tadpole Pond, Moleville region. It's kinda cool. How they like named the regions here. 
We saw Bowser's minion setting for his keep. Bowser talked big, but I don't know if he can actually get back to his keep while the sword is stuck in it. Plus, the bridge is down. Arrows are raining on Rose Town. Grandpa's right. These people need our help. There's also fire rumors about a living doll, doll named Gino. Maybe we can get some answers in the forest. We recovered a star piece from a formidable boyer. I hate to leave Gaz behind, but I'll need this body so my allies and I can find the star pieces. If I have left, there's a long way to go. Alright, let's read some of the, uh, the monster lists. There we are. I like how it kind of starts you where you left off a little bit. Alright, Star Slap. The loading time is a little bit weird. Um, I am not to slap. I am not a star either. An annoyed Star Slap. <laughs> That's how I'm saying is the, uh, the um, VC area fucking entries are actually really fucking funny in this game. I, I thoroughly find them entertaining. Uh, though easily recognizable, they may not have the name recognition of Goombas or Koopa Paratroopas. So don't be shy. Say hi to shy guys. Snapdragon. The sleep pollen that Snapdragons produce doesn't work on them. So sleep-deprived Snapdragons use the pollen from their friends instead. Uh, crook, we haven't been able to analyze that cunt. Uh, Arachnids have a rude habit of using their venom drool on foes lacking cleansing juice. Uh, Wiggler. Is the forest maze known as Wiggler Forest because Wigglers live there? Or are they called Wigglers because they live in Wiggler Forest? No one knows. Uh, they have high HP and attack, and their thrown rocks hurt quite a bit. So watch out for that. They often get mistaken for someone else. You gotta try to, like, use the, um, weaknesses as well in this game, considering, uh, enemies are much more tanky in this game. Uh... Amanitas are always spinning round and round. They'll probably spin forever, so long as this world keeps turning. Uh, Octolot. The wingy thingies on the Octolots dangle from are black, so they don't seem to be paratroopers. Just try telling that to them, though. The debate over whether these are bumblebees or rumblebees has raged for nearly 30 years, but the true answer is in your heart. Uh, the heads of Rose Sound citizens looked like targets to him. Oh, look at that. I guess uh, you're right with that one, Rayla. Goddamn. Hm, crazy. Yeah, I just thought they were just trying uh, different um, pattern hats, really. Um, the heads of Rose Sound citizens looked like targets to him, so he lit loose a volley of arrows on them. He's attended by his arrow followers. Arrows. Cool. Exploding weaknesses. How very Shin Megami Tensei of you. Well, here's the difference, right? Is you can uh, play this game without exploding weaknesses. Shin Megami Tensei, you fucking can't. It's like you have to do every fucking enemy. Oh, it's so... And it's like, you know, moves in Shin Megami Tensei aren't like fire. Or burn. Or zap. Or, you know, burr, burr, ice. Right? It's just fucking... Like crazy ass made up words that have no semblance to anything else. Like, yeah, learn a new fucking language. Uh, Fantasy Star did that a little bit, but Fantasy Star it wasn't as, um, uh, vital. I can finally move. I guess I owe it all to Mario. What an amazing guy. Things are finally back to more normal. Thank you, Mario. I can finally move. Maybe I'll go pick some mushrooms in the forest. It's a little scary, but I'll take my chances. Oh, we have to, uh, do the, um, treasure room in the forest. That's like a bunch of cope to me, but you do you. I don't know, I just didn't like Shin Megami. I, you know, I liked, uh... Um... Strange Journey. Not enough to finish it, mind you, but, like, that was alright. You're back again. Have you been to Oster's Isle? You have to go through the pipes to get there. Oh, I see. So you tried your luck with the Goomba Thumping game, huh? Love Devil Survivor and Persona 3. Uh, would you consider Persona a uh, Shin Megami game? It's more of a spin-off, really. But um, I'm not a fan of uh, Persona, although I I've only played 3. So, I don't know, maybe 4 and 5 are less socially and less... Uh, uh, what, visual novelty? Maybe? I don't know. I'll give it a shot. 
Yeah, a lot of the Mega Ten games are not for the faint of heart. I fucking played three months of Persona games. Had me knowing the elements like it was second nature. Persona 4 and 5 are even worse, Jesus. Yeah, it might just not be for me. I'll still give 4 and 5 a shot, at least. Can't promise full playthroughs, but eventually I'll at least try them, because enough people seem to really like them. Uh, button, yeah, I jumped on it. I do it all the time. It really winds my dad up. To the forest, left, left, straight, right. Not quite yet. Was it this house that had uh, Samus sleeping in it? I, I forget. No, like Link, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking it's the uh, the inn, actually. I can finally move. Maybe I'll go pick mushrooms in the forest. Oh, wait, we talked to this gun already. Good, now I can finally go to the forest and chop some wood. Hey, I'll carry that. Phew, that was close, but I made it on time. Making me things easier on poor Gramps. I'm so proud of my grandson, just to look at him. Grandson has come back in one piece. Thank you, Mario. What if I wait for them to all go in? Uh, you'd probably like Persona 2 better. It's more of a traditional RPG. 4 and 5 feel like they fully detach from the Shin Megami Tensei style. Yeah, I mean, I'll give them, I'll give them a shot. I will. Uh, technically, every Shin Megami Tensei game that isn't 1, 2... If Nocturne, Strange Journey, 4, 5, Apocalypse, and 5 are all spin-offs of Shin Megami Tensei. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. I always thought that Strange Journey was uh, 4, and then um, they released 4. I'm like, alright, so fuck Strange Journey then. Okay. It's like the one I liked because it had a sci-fi twist to it. Um, let's see, anything in here? I thought I heard a big boom over in the mountains. Hm, guess I'm starting to hear things. They're finally back to normal. Uh, anything we want here? Nah, not really. Okay, let's hold on to our money. The little money we have. We talk to these assholes. Can't believe an arrow hit him. Finally home. Right now, that's still blocked off, so we can't go to the crazy ass seed and fertilizer salesman, or whatever the fuck you want to call him. Gino, you came back, Mum. See, Mum, this is the Gino I was talking about. My my, what a fabulous costume! It must be kind of hot for a person wearing it, though. Mom, you slut! <laughs> I'll forget it, Mom. All right, Gino, let's play. I wish I could, but Mario and I must leave now to find the missing star pieces. Star pieces? I mean, I guess there's no dad in the picture. I guess she gets uh, lonely and horny. Uh, star pieces? You mean like shooting stars? What for? Well, how can I explain this? Well, guys, it's like this. <laughs> yeah, this game's so good. It's how it used to be, but now it's like... You know, Black Star Road be like this, and White Star Road be like that. Do you get it? Uh, no, you lost me. Well, let's just say if things stay the way they are, your wishes will never come true. What? So you mean, even if I grow up, I won't ever be strong and cool like you? <laughs> it do be like that, though. <laughs> no one's wishes will come true until the star pieces are found and Star Road is repaired. Which is why I've chosen these two in order to find the missing star pieces. That's it. Well, Mario needs to help all the help he can get. <laughs> He's straight up throw a fucking right cross to knock that little motherfucker out. You know what? I did see something sparkly fall somewhere around Moleville. I think one of those things you're looking for, Gino? It seems highly probable. We'll make Moleville our next stop. Thank you for telling us about it. I'll be a ring for you. Please go fix Star Road and make sure all my dreams come true. All my wildest dreams come through. Oh, wait. Nice, free weapon. This is yours, Zeno, so take it along with you. Thanks for being a sp good sport, Gaz. I'll see you when I get back. Alright, let's equip that. Um, let's see. 
Devil Survivor games for the PS2 are worth playing as well. That's a turn-based strategy, yeah? Or, um, yeah, strategy game, right? Yeah, by the time Persona 4 came out, spin-off became its own thing. Persona 3 feels like a middle ground. Unfortunately, I had to stop playing it after losing a week's progress because I didn't save. Yeah, Persona 3 was just so much busy work, having to remember everyone's schedules and shit. Like, it just felt like, why am I doing this? I have enough trouble with this shit IRL, and I already do a shitty job at an IRL. Why would I want to play a video game where I have to fucking pull out a notepad or a journal and fucking, like, write out everything? I know you don't have to do that. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, I know. I wanted to get into the game, but, like, man, it was so busy. You need a certain mindset to be appreciated, Shin Megami Tensei. You don't like exploiting weaknesses and building a party around exploiting specific weaknesses. It ain't gonna be your thing. Yeah, I guess I, I like, um... I like when you can just play the fucking game how you want and kind of up with your own strategy, but I feel like there's a right and wrong way to play Shin Megami. Um, let's see here. What are we looking at? Equip. Yes. Finger shot. Hey, it's gonna be lonely without you, but hey, you can handle it. Uh, I need coffee. Keep away. Yes, you look awful. Why don't you rest some more? Let's get it here. Thank you so much for spending time with Gaz. He loved it. Yeah, I think this was the, uh, the Link Town. Hopefully he's still in this one. So you want Joey mode games? No, I'm just saying I, when I play an RPG, I want to play it the way I want to play it. You know, there should be, there should be more than one right or wrong answer. That's like, oh, you didn't do the exact fucking exploit weakness strategy. It's like, fuck you. There should be like multiple ways to play. Oh, so we go back in. Can we sleep at the end? Here we are. Still in the house. Cool. There we go. Good. I was about to say, they better keep Lincoln uh, Samus in this game. Oh, but it plays the whole thing. In the original game, you could like mash A a bunch and like cuts itself off. It's just here. It's entertaining to me. Fuck you. Uh, let's see. Could be the Strega guy. Uh, that's the thing though. If you play games like Nocturne, you can play in multiple ways that will work. Eh. All right. Well, let's uh, go to Yoster's Isle. It's still weird. Rather than just call it Yoshi's Isle. Hey, there just wasn't a set name for Yoshi yet. Well, I mean, there's a set name for Yoshi, but... Maybe a name for his... Fucking island yet. This seems, like, huge, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's do this shit. Sorry, the beer's making me sleepy. I need another beer to wake up. Mm. Alright, let's fight this cunt. Defend. Ah, we'll do a Thought Beak. I think the enemies in this area are a little bit harder than other areas because it's optional. Shit. Shit. Oh nice, we got a frog going from that, sick. Seems like an extreme way to deter people from visiting Yoshi's Island. They don't like foreigners. 
Can you blame him? Shit. Um, Frogog. Wait, do we, uh... Yeah, these are all older, um, enemies, yes. Man, a lot of frog coin drops, holy shit. Nah, nothing, but we can fight this fucker. If he'll stay up long enough for us to kick his ass. Alright, um, there's a lot of them. Gauge up, thought peak. I think these are the battles I remember being a real bitch. A low level. Life's been lousy lately. Well, goddamn, way to depress the children. Oh, he's got true form pen, baby. Oh god, that's a real late hit. Thunderbolt here. God damn, that's such a late hit. It's crazy. I think it's later than the original game, honestly. Shit. Well, god damn. Um, well, let's use Thunderbolt. I guess I could use HP rain on myself. Yeah, let's do that. So if the Thunderbolt doesn't kill everyone, uh, we might be a little fucked. God damn. Uh, we're gonna use Thunderbolt. Shit! Alright, we going GG unless Mario wakes the fuck up. Yeah, they like psych you out, they really do. Alright, um, what do we do? Uh, well, we pick me up. Yeah, we might want to buy a couple more of those, honestly. Practice on blocking these. God damn, that's like really late. Yeah, I think the animation's slower than the original. get a shit ton of XP from this, honestly. Uh, Toad Assist. Oh, was it only Toad Assist because we didn't have, uh, Kazir status ailment? Maybe. Let's have hoping for super attack. Yeah, Sleepy Bomb. Jesus, uh... Oh, let's see here. Uh, we'll go in the second one first. Oh, 
Oh shit, I remember that. That would fuck with me for so long. Um, as a kid, I never knew how to fucking get that, and it was in like, it was fucking years later when I figured it out, like, oh, you hold down. You run forward and then tap down. Uh, third from the last. Alright, so that is, uh, good and done. Shit. Ah, eh, well, fuck it. Uh, let's see. that do that thunderbolt I think after you like block it successfully a couple times uh, that specific move stops popping up unless you start fucking up again I think it's something like that it's kind of weird A little like exclamation uh, cue. There we are. That was much more smooth. All right, 25 chain, which ain't bad. And then that one... No, we didn't go down that one. Hey, once again, I thought these guys were black people growing up. I legitimately did. I didn't understand what they were supposed to be in the original game. Uh, hey mate, step right up. Ten coins, do some Goomba Thumper, how about it? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, I know the rules, baby. Shit. Might be easier with a fucking D-pad, honestly. Get. Looks like you got yourself a tough road ahead. Good luck. Fuck you. That's eh, ten coins each. Fuck it. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, you can use the deep out here. Fucking a. Shit, all right, we got 20. That's something up, and here's your prize. Uh, next time, try 22 points. A oh, nice flower tab. Do this for a little bit. I learned Japanese, Japanese, a couple years back, and it was because of all the anime I watched. I got you. 
I just feel like learning Japanese is cringe. I can't name you a single person who knows Japanese or has multiple certifications in Japanese. If I did, that person would be gay as hell. Yes, yes, don't tell them the truth. If only we got a couple more. God damn. Is this game worth buying? Oh, fucking absolutely, dude. Um, I don't know if you want it. I don't need to tell the truth. <laughs> Everyone already knows. Uh, uh, let's see. More circuits I wouldn't play. JP only retro stuff. I wouldn't learn the writing. It seems too difficult. Oh, you gotta learn. If you... Anyone, if... Anyone wanted to learn Japanese, I would strongly recommend going the writing route as well. Um, you don't have to go super, super deep into kanji, but at least learn a couple. Um, it actually does help with your uh, uh, pronunciation, because you like can visually like see how the, you know, how the sentences are logically written out, and, um, you know, just sounding out the alphabet gets uh, can get you pretty far, honestly, in and of itself. Um, it aids. It aids quite a bit. Um, yeah. But there are plenty of people out there who are like, oh, I want to learn Japanese, but I never want to touch the fuck with the kanji. But it's like, no, you kind of have to. It's, um, you get a lot more out of it. Strongly recommended if you wanted to up in that time, which... Hey, that would be you guys' skull. Shit, fucker. You get like two seconds to fucking react. God damn. Uh, to this day, you remember what the kanji for Futanari is, right? Is there kanji for Futanari? It's just probably like two. It is the word two in there. I've actually never seen the kanji for Futanari. Uh, do you know the world? Sure do. Shit, fucker. Here's one thing you can do, right? Uh, let's see. Maybe I just heard uh, too much. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I'll try to learn my cafe in Middleton in German. Oh, we'll stick with one language first, and then once you feel like you've gotten real competency in that one, then move on to the second one. Or the third one, I guess I should say. Currently for the kanji for women, is the kanji for noise repeating three times? No, I think it's uh, opposite. See, uh, the, the kanji for noise is three uh, women. Uh, sure, why not? Sure do. I think it's like a uh, word in the compound word for noise to be specific, I believe. Shit. 
shit, fucker. Dude, you gotta be real fucking quick. Shit. That was my fucking ticket to fucking win. Damn it, damn it. Ah! I will spend all my goddamn money. I want to get one more. Just take your chances. Nah, this ain't working. Nah, it's definitely not. It's punish it's punishing me. It's punishing me for trying it that way. I think you could kind of exploit in the original that way, but it looks like they uh might have increased the odds of a spiky coming up if you jump on the same one multiple times. Honestly, that's not bad. That strategy. It's jumping back and forth. Yeah, there's motherfuckers who, like, picked this shit up and got to Kulex on the first fucking, uh, like, sitting. I don't know, that, that shit, like, bothers the hell to me. It's like, fucking enjoy the game, I don't know. Everyone's in, like, a constant fucking race to stream something and be the first to play something first. And to finish it up immediately. It's a sound, it's just depressing. Actually, let me keep it at 22, because then it will uh, raise the next time slower. Ooh, frog coin. Oh, we're gonna do it again. I think all of your future rewards are just a frog coin, so I might call it here. Dude, we're fucking killing it. Holy shit. Could you imagine this being how Wall Street works? <laughs> what, just jumping on Goombas from black people all day? How about you jump on that Goomba there, boss? Massive? Alright, we're good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Nice. Oh shit, god damn. Alright, this is one. A lot of these streamers do this for a living, so I guess they don't have anything better to do. Yeah, I know, and that's what I'm saying. It's just like, I don't know, like to me, gaming is just. I'd like just chilling, relaxing, and enjoying yourself, having a good time. Everyone else is like, it's gotta be a fucking race. That'd be a fucking race for clicks and a ride to the algorithm to get fucking ad revenue and then to bitch at people for not, like, you know, for not disabling their ad block. This fucking stream has been brought to you by NordVPN and Raid Shadow Lessons and also, uh, the fucking ball hair groomer. Oh god, please. Oh, this has always been a fucking absolute mess. It's always been a fucking trap. 
There we go. I'm gonna grab a beer before we do the fucking Yoshi mini game because we'll be here for a little bit. Alright, where, where the fuck is it? Oh, Layla. Layla. What are you dreaming about, girl? Are you chasing a rabbit? You're really kicking there. Oh. I know, you're supposed to wake a dog or a human for that matter when they're not a dream about random fucking shit. What is it about sleepwalking? Do you have to like wake a motherfucker up when they're sleepwalking or what? Uh, imagine being a professional streamer and being forced to buy the new shit in order to keep up. That's what I'm saying. It's just fucking soulless. Um, oh, come on, please. I need to find it. Uh, is this game a straight-up remake or remaster? I'd say a... Um, I don't know. What you guys call it? I guess kind of more of a remake, but it's kind of like in between, honestly. It's very, very similar to the original one, but there are new additions. There we go, Jesus. Yeah, I guess I would say remake, because remaster you think just like, you know, HD fucking textures and shit, and that's it. Um, but this, I think there's enough added where you'd have to say it's a uh, full-on uh, remaster, uh, remake. There you go. Sleep on thing is a myth. Did they take the original assets and reformat them, or just grand? I think it's a ground up remake, honestly. But it's just very, very well done. Speaking of sleepwalking, I saw the film Sleepwalkers in theaters with my mother, Beyond Awkward. I never saw that one. I don't even call them games, I consider them as fuel units. Hold up, guys. I'm gonna get up without disturbing my puppy dog. She's such a sweetheart. And I'm gonna take a piss break. And I'm gonna get a beer. I'm gonna stay with you, motherfucker. Because I love you guys. Oh god, my feet are fucking killing me. Holy shit. Sorry, I was at the gym before I started streaming. And it's like one of those things where it's like, eh, I'll be fine. And then you like lay down for a little bit. And then hours later get up and you're like, oh! Gotta let that lactic acid sit for a little bit to feel the fucking pain. Oh, yeah, that was a good piss. But yes, uh, Videograms. It is a um, remake. Not a remaster, but it is a very, very faithful remake. It's like every change they did was very carefully fucking crafted to make sure it didn't, uh, you know, break the game. And um, a noticeable difficulty increase that I can thoroughly fucking appreciate. Oh yeah, we'll grab that shit. Fucking hey. We're gonna have a Trogues lollipop. I was drinking a uh, Victory Merry Monkey. Gassius loves Merry Monkeys. Especially when they're breaking into his car right around Christmas time. But now Victory's a good brewery. I think they're also from PA. Um, PA's got some good breweries, honestly. From the uh, Tri-State region. The uh, PA, Maryland, Delaware, Tri-State region. For those of you who are curious, is my locale. Oh, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I can fucking feel it moving around, dude. Alrighty. Let's go back to this one. Alright, we'll catch up on chat real quick. Oh, only love. She's so cute. 
Demon Souls remake was called a remake until they just called it Demon Souls. Thankfully, not a lot of them in my neck of the woods. Oh, the Merry Monkeys around Christmas time. What about Super Mario Bros. Runder? Did you get that? Um, I actually did buy it. It's uh coming. I got a um a bonus. So I was like, eh, let me fucking buy that as well. That's showed up yet, but um, I'm not gonna jump right into that one and play it. I'm still work through Pikmin One, which Pikmin One is fantastic. I'm still kicking myself for not getting into that game uh, earlier. Uh, I got the Pikmin One and Two collection. Um, cool, cool concept. It's like a strategy. Real-time strategy, almost. It's uh, bizarre, but cool. All right, cool. Let's do the shit. Oh no! Oh god, no! This was me and Moto's fucking idea. In the original game, they just did a Super Mario like that shit. I'm not sure what you would call that. There's a litter inside. Care to read it? Sure. Honeymoon Reservations for True, the Mushroom Travel Agency. Yoshi. We have Boshi. The SM Yoshi. Wow. Mario, glad he finally made it to Yoshi's Isle, home of the Mushroom Derby. Say, now that you're here, we could use your help. Please talk to a few of my pals here and. Wait, you can't understand them? We'll hop aboard and we'll be your interpreter. Yoshi. What are you cracked? Racing's my life. I could run all day. By the way, you know I saw not too long ago a star falling somewhere in Moville. Moville, motherfucker. Yoshi is the fastest runner, but he's full of himself. Hey Yoshi, think you beat the old Boshi today? Of course. Here, take my cookies. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. I got a major support on my side, so I could probably win today. Boshi only races one on one, so everyone can't join us. Too bad. But yeah, uh, Videograms. If you've never played the original, um, I strongly recommend you play either one, honestly. So, yeah, both games are fucking great. Um, it would be so much better if we could all race together. So, you brought the cookies. Alright, consider yourself lucky today. You got yourself a race, one on one. I think they made up. Uh, visual prompts for this one, because the audio prompts of the original one are kind of a pain in the fucking ass, honestly. Uh, one instructions. Do we want it? Isn't just A and B repeated? Yeah, let's just go for it. Fuck it. Toad's uh, explanation is long-winded. Very long-winded. This is easy as it gets, man. Oh, that's so much easier with visual prompts. It's very tight timing, even so. And the original one was also really tight. Yeah, alternate A to B to the uh, the beat of the music. Uh, wow, unbelievable! You beat Boshi. Starting today, Yoshi's the new boss around here. So when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh, well, I had my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. <laughs> Retarded. That way, you'll be able to stash away the cookies. We don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to race. Come on, Boshi. Let's see what you're made of. Mm, all right, just stay out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. I see, Mario. I finally beat that rascal, and we can now race together. Here's something to remember me by. Next time you're in trouble during battle, use one of those to give me a call. Saddle up? Sure. It can't happen twice. What are you crying? Ah, same fucker. This one we can all race together. Um, how's it going? Going better than ever. Well, don't step on the eggs. Um, should we race again right away? Let's save first. I want to get a nice collection of uh, cookies for later on when the fat Yoshi God is born. The Yoshi Antichrist, if you will. Yoshi. 
Yeah, it's kind of crazy though, because I'll also be talking to people, and um, a lot of people are also, aside from not playing this game, also haven't played the original Paper Mario, which is also crazy to me. Paper Mario is also fantastic. I think both games are good. I like this one way more, but it's a little apple is so orangey. Um, but both are really, really solid games. Um, the odds on Yoshi are 2.5 to 1. Uh, guys, explain to me um, odds. That means we, uh, he's likely to win, right? <laughs> Shit. We'll race. We'll wager three. All right, Yoshi, I'm fucking counting on you. Go, motherfucker. Also, give me a chance to drink beer. Yoshi, I swear to God. Oh, I love how, like, they there's casinos in this game and horse racing. <laughs> All involving gambling. It's great. Yoshi! 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 Ah, you won! You crazy cunt! Congratulations! Oh, we got seven cookies, baby! Um, here's what we'll do. We'll store two of them. Try and store five or more. Oh, what the fuck, dude? I have to store five or more. Fuck you. We gambling again. Odds are Yoshi on 1.5 to 1. I'll race Yoshi. Oh god. Seven. We're going hard, boy. It's like made way easier on this one. Might be better off just racing. Although I think you might get better odds by uh, racing the motherfucker um, yourself. Although 1.5 to one, that, and we got 10. And I know C3PO and Star Wars is like odds are navigating this fucking asteroid field or infinity to one. So I think it's it's bad if it's a high number to one. Okay, let's uh, store my cookies. All right, we're storing five. Let's do a few more of these. Our five to one. I'll raise the Yoshi. That means it's gonna be harder, yeah. All right, all right. Let's do this one. There we go. All right, so it is harder. All right, higher the big number to one, the harder it is. Got it. We win 25. I'll start five for you. Don't worry, I won't need any. That makes a total of 10. I just want to. I want to get a metric fuck ton of cookies to last us the rest of the game. Bear with me. One more. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I'll race Yoshi. Um, yeah. Then we'll get 15, right? Assuming we win. So if it's a low number, I might as well just watch Yoshi. I mean, it's not guaranteed to win, but it might be more entertaining. Uh, there we are. 15. We got 10. He's got 15. That's a lot of cookies, right? 
Let's see what the odds would be. Two to one. We could double them. Uh, yeah, we'll do one more. One more and then we'll leave. Cool. He's got 25. I got 10. That's 35 cookies total. We can use some of them in our journeys. All right, cool. Get, get the fuck off. All righty then. So later on, there is a fat baby god, Yoshi, that is born. And if you feed him a metric fuck ton of cookies to make him a giant fat baby, um, he then gives you some cool shit. All right, Moleville, baby. Oh, I can't wait to see Booster. Not sure if we'll get to him this stream, because we did a lot of side shit. I like the music here. I like the view, too. Cool. Before, I think it was a blue void. I have not yet opened Bayonetta 3 nor the new Kirby game. Which uh, new Kirby game? And yes, the uh, the library for the Switch is insane. As much shit as I want to give Nintendo, and I really do, and I do, um, especially since the previous generations for Nintendo have sincerely sucked, I do think the Switch has been their strongest console and strongest library since the Super Nintendo. Um, really, it's great. It's actually been insane. Forget what's oh Kirby and the Forgotten Land yeah that's the uh, 3D one yeah I played a little bit of that on a uh, stream I still need to go back and finish it but um man Kirby is just fucking good in general but yeah that game was pretty fucking fun I like the GameCube a lot of people really like the GameCube I like the GameCube too I just don't think it had um Xbox I think had strong well Xbox did have stronger specs. And PlayStation 2 did have a stronger library, but uh, GameCube did have some fantastic multiplayer games. It really did. And, um, you know, its explosives were good. I just wish there were more... more games and more explosives. Um, it's an emergency. Dying is trapped in the mines. Come on, don't be shy. Everyone's up in the mountain, but I'm stuck mining the store. What you need? See how you could, like, you know, especially if you had a sprite of these guys, you could see them as black people. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Maple syrup, we might want to buy some. Get your salad tossed with jelly or syrup. Personally, I prefer syrup. I have the work pants go. Work pants do some weird shit, like lowers your magic defense, but raises your everything else to hell and back. But it doesn't raise your defense quite as much. But it does improve your speed and your attack. Um, yeah, give me work pants. Yeah, once again, it wasn't much, but it was so cool having this in this game. Just because, you know, as a young as a young baby would teach you, hey. In RPGs, sometimes you have to make choices. Of, like, do you want to straight up defense or some weird stats? And I always like doing the weird stats. You no know, consoles have always almost been about first party titles. Yes. Agreed. But Super Nintendo and Switch to me were really, really strong. I would say, like, you know, a third would be GameCube. I'd, like, agree with that, honestly. Um. We, oh, God, the Wii had some strong early games. It really did, but Nintendo got so fucking complacent. Have I played any of the Fatal Frame games? No, but I've heard of them. I've seen footage of them. 
still think the first PlayStation is the best. I really like the first PlayStation. I've uh, bitched many times about how I have two PlayStation 2s. One, the laser that reads CDs is burnt out. The other, the laser that reads DVDs is burnt out. So I have a PlayStation 2 that only plays PlayStation 1 games and one that only plays PlayStation 2 games. Um, it's frustrating. I'll buy one of those. Uh, let's see, it's 10 coins a night. Y'all stay in the night? Hell yeah. But yeah, the uh, Switch has like so many fucking good games. I have a lot of the fucking games now. Just anytime I got to get a uh, uh, bonus at work, I'll buy one or two. And I had like three or four months back to back to back that were really good, so uh, those fucking added up quick. But um, man, as far as time to play it, don't really have too much of that. Uh, Dino went to the mountain with the little mite, but the star crashed into the mountain, and now they're trapped. Now they be trapped, motherfucker. See, they even talk like black people. As a young baby, I legit thought these were black people. I know it's called Moleville, but I don't know. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, I didn't really question it. Toads are white, and in Moleville, it's full of black people. All right. The Mario Kingdom has become a lot more diverse since the early games. Ma said she'd go and find out what's happening, but she sure is taking her sweet time. A pretty star crashed down the mountain. I wanted to see it, but Ma told me it was too dangerous. But yeah, there's actually quite a few PlayStation 2 games I haven't played. I played quite a few of them, but uh, a lot of the real big name ones. I mean, shit, I just played uh, uh, Devil May Cry for the first time, and that was awesome. Devil May Cry 2, not so much, but what are you gonna do? Ma and Pa are out helping on the mountain. There's no way they walk right past me, for the record. Without me, like, us seeing each other. Damn, dude, you lost, like, fucking so many of your forces, Bowser. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brew around. Don't you forget it. Who's bad? But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Let's show him who's boss around here. <laughs> and they're gone. Yeah, it made more sense in the original one, but even the original one, I tried to, like, activate that cutscene in a way where they couldn't possibly walk past me without seeing me. But now, with this huge resolution, it makes even less sense. The man folk are doing their best inside. I'm digging from the outside. We gotta help them folks out. I knew it was bad news and the saw fell on the mountain. Sure enough, it was causing trouble. Booga booga, motherfucker. Star dropped in the mountain and trapped some kids inside. Make things worse, one of the man folk will be stuck inside, too. Please, Mario, gotta help us. I wish I could read. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. Can't keep up with them. It's cute how, like, each area you go to is, uh, be troubled. In my country, there is problem. the new Robocop game is amazing. I heard good things as well. I want to uh, fuck with that one. I really do. But yeah, video grams. There's the uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 I have for that Switch because this was before it was released on uh, Steam. If only I waited a little bit longer. Whatever. Not mad. Um, then I got the, uh, the Xenoblade games. I got the fucking uh, Bayonetta games. The fucking... Luigi Mansion games. I got quite a few. New Tony Hawk. They still make the series. Oh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2. They, um, like, remade Vicarious Visions. The same guys who did the, uh, I think the Spyro trilogy and Crash Bandicoot trilogy. They did, uh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Like, remade. It's pretty good, honestly. Throw them down the well so our country can be free. 
They take everybody money. I know just what to do. I know how you're feeling, but moping around ain't gonna help a thing. But yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 are now on the, um, are now on Steam. Uh, they're notorious for having homies not want to stream them or disable half the music when they stream them because they're so afraid of fucking copyright. Jesus Christ. Um, I know what I said, you know, DCMA and all that. I know what I said, but I didn't think I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We'd be getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See up there, the old entrance of the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only we had that uh, fellow Mario were here. You bet he could reach that in a heartbeat. Well, speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle. It ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you heard of the news? News what news? Well, Don took her little brother into the mines so they could play, and a huge star crashed in the mountain, causing a big cave in. Now they're trapped inside. And now the daddy who went for looking for him is trapped too. Mario, will he help him? Of course. May they talk like Dusty Rhodes. Thanks, Mario. Well, there's still entrance up there. I guess it's just the same voice I was doing, but with a lisp, huh? Here, hop on our shoulders. It's just an empty hero voice, go figure. Bro, imagine if your VOD was blocked in America. See that I'm only human. Uh gets blocked in Russia. Well, that's what I kept saying. I was, like, bitching about these big YouTube... You know, I, and I, it's the same thing with this stream, right? I'm always bitching about these big influencers because they're fucking soulless. But, like, all you have to do is disable VODs on Twitch. No one watches them anyway. And then just upload the streams onto YouTube. And just, like, disable fucking ads for two fucking seconds. All it's gonna do is gonna get claimed. They're gonna have ads anyway. You're just not gonna get the ad revenue, but you'll still get the fucking viewers and the fucking subscriptions. And then people will still have your videos showing up in their fucking recommended feed. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Dude, people are so pissed scared of that shit, and they want their fucking pennies so goddamn badly from ad revenue. It's absolutely disgusting. Holy hell. Oh, wow, they look way different. They're supposed to be rock turtles. You know what I saw these guys as? I saw them as, like, wearing, like, the top half of a coconut. Like, they were fuzzy. Really bizarre. Oh, shit. I stepped on Star Brock the other day and got hurt. Oof, still smarts. Shit. Shit. Goddamn, that's a late uh, hit. I gotta get used to this shit. Man, Marty's getting fucked up. Uh, HP Rain. It does encourage me to use HP Rain a lot more, although I should be also using uh, some mushrooms. Shit, Marine like the fucking chat. Reminds me of MP3 Good or Goblin video. Napster was stealing pennies. After downloading RAM, of course. I'd deadlift a car if I could. You know, I watched the um, the fucking world record for deadlifting. I didn't think it would be uh, 1,100 plus pounds. Holy shit. He could literally flip a fucking car. It's actually, like, concerning watching. Remember when there's those, like, uh, ads that's saying that, like, gym bros were, like, toxic right-wing lunatics? It's like, oh god, you, you, <laughs> you can't be going to the gym. Only right-wing lunatics go to the gym and improve themselves. And it was around the same time those uh, articles were like, you gotta make sure you masturbate to pornography. If you don't watch porn, that's bad for your brain. You gotta watch more porn all day. And it's like, oh my god. <laughs> it's, you can't make it up. You really fucking can't. 
I hate the term toxic, it's been sullied. I'll still fucking use it, honestly. Because I think um, toxic is a good descriptor for some things. It's just unfortunate that a lot of people use the term toxic to describe uh, not them. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, you believe in political ideas that differ from mine? That's toxic. Shit. Goddamn. Just been used too much by leftists. I agree. I still use it, though. Because uh, it is an accurate term. Um, unfortunately, like you said, it's been used way too much by uh, leftists. Goddamn, it's fucking hard. Jim bros are gay black men that hit on me. Singular case. Remember an old SNL clip that had all the drug Olympics? Some Wayne lifter tore his arms off. Yeah, I feel like I vaguely recall that, honestly. When does he die? I'm just curious. Jesus Christ, it's such a late hit, it throws me off every time. I guess this guy's good fucking practice for my new weapons. Jesus Christ. He's just like picking on Mario like nothing else. Alright, use your uh, HP rain again. Uh, do you like Ninja Gaiden in this Ninja Gaiden collection? Yeah, the newer Ninja Gaidens, right? Or is it the old games too? Alright, let's just fucking end this. God damn. You are a fucker, dude. The newer ones, not the NES ones. Yes, I think I have those collections on my uh, wish list. I've um, never played them. I've been curious about them for a while. Uh, actually, should fight the fire orb. Oh shit, look at all these fuckers. Attack with magic, and I'll suck you out. Shit. Shit. Really? I fucked that up somehow? God damn. Oh, and this guy's weak to everything. Aw, hey, Layla. getting fucked up by looking at my dog. Um, let's see. We have a bunch of mushrooms. We can also use Yoshi cookies. Um, let's see. Let's try to use one of those. I think he just turns into an item for me. Oh, but only some. Gotcha. So we got our Yoshi cookie back. Yeah, pick me up and level up. Sick. Uh, Jesus. Plus 6 HP. Holy shit. Plus one, plus one. Yeah, we're definitely going to 6 HP.
Holy shit, dude. I think six is the most you can get. Uh, alright, you crazy fucking cunt. Hey, have you heard? There's rare items hidden in the mines. Oh shit, I need to get the, um, the seeker in the forest. If I need, I'm gonna <laughs> sell them to someone in town. Is that the guy drilling in the next, uh, cavern over? I'm gonna sell them to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Alright, whoa, dickhead. Alright, now we have to deal with Croco. Should we just jump on the fucking thing? And get it over with? Now let's explore it a little bit. I just love how you can jump up here. You can't really do anything up there, but you can jump up there if you want. Yeah, I like the fucking demon chorus. Yeah, those fire orbs are fucking spooky as hell. Uh, let's use Star Riders. Yeah, I just think that's really cool. That's like the uh, Mario throws a fireball. Uh, Mala throws lightning. Gina you know, throws laser beams. Gotta go to bed, have early work tomorrow. I got you, Collector J. I appreciate you dropping in, man. Really. Hopefully you're doing well. Make sure to take care of yourself, man. It's all you're good for. <laughs> Wasn't that the line from um, in Star Wars? Take care of yourself, huh? It's what you do best. It's something like that. I don't know if I can know. It's been a little bit. I can great movies. They really are. They hold up. Fucker! Watch out, I'm gonna explode and it'll hurt. Fuck off! Mari, you've come to help us out. One problem, though, this is a dead end. We need a bomb to blast through here. Think you can find one? You didn't watch Star Wars until I was 19. Fuck! Oh my god. Well, do you still like it? That's crazy. To me. That really is crazy to me, dude. I grew up with that shit on VHS. I, like, I don't know, I just watched it so fucking much. Like, I watched it so fucking much as a kid. Cause like I had like a fucking shitty tiny ass TV and a shitty old ass VCR in my room. Uh. Yeah, it's one of those things I would rewatch over and over and over. That and like uh, a couple shitty movies and uh, some VHS tapes of um, you know off the TV of uh, Dragon Ball Z and the like three OG movies. Oh, it's great. Flower tab. Do you want to use this? I mean, eh. Fuck it. Oh yeah, worth it. Coins, beautiful coins, grab the coins. Listen up, let's leave this half with Mario here and split. Anyone got beef with that? A mm -hmm. Kroko is so, dude, the recurring villains in this game are so fucking good. Kroko, uh, Bloom, fucking Booster. Oh, they're so entertaining. Even like the non-occurring ones, like the fucking Axum Rangers. 
they have so much personality, it's insane. I mean, even Paper Mario, you had, like, what, the Koopa Troopa Jr.? Oh boy, looks like a dead end here, but not to worry. Eh, I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. And you can kill the, uh, the little fucking robber homies and get some good items. Shit, Jesus Christ. Must not run away. And then they run away. So you wait. He'll get you from this. Maybe not today, but maybe not tomorrow, but someday. Yeah, you get like flower tabs from him, which is like a permanent, a full increase, a full refill of flower points, and also a permanent increase of uh, flower points by plus one. Oh God! I didn't even mean to fight this motherfucker yet. All right. Gonna get some fucking flower tasks. I guess not. Um, he is weak to fireball, so let's do it. Ooh, I'm good. Shit. Shit. Uh, HP rain yourself. God damn, blocking that's kind of hard. God damn, blocking that's kind of hard. That shit took my items, fucker. You want them back? You gotta take me down first. Alright, let's use an HP rain. Yeah, Mario would be thick, because he had some good, uh... Fuck. <laughs> Oh, he just throws enemies at you. Shit, fucker. I also always love the uh, faces, like the spooky faces on the, uh, like the cloud. Same thing with um, Bowser's poison cloud. Yeah, enough already. Here's your junk. I'm out of here. Oh yeah, I think he appears two more times. I don't think you fight him either time. I think that's the last time you fight him. Shit, we missed out on two flower tabs from fighting him early. Did not mean to do that. Got the coins back and picked up a micro bomb. Yeah, we missed two flower tabs. One from the guy there and one from the guy right in here. Damn. Oh well. Ah, well, fuck it. It happens. At least we got to fight one and analyze his brain. Uh, speaking of which... Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> if you look at it from this way, we're halfway through the game. Not really, but I mean, you know, we're halfway through the uh, continent, the world. Well, if I want to read the uh, scrapbook. 
Slumbering hero. Someone heroic looking was sleeping in the Rose Town Inn. I bet he's tired from his legends and adventures. But I'd like to link up with him and chat over a tadpole. Tadpola Cola. Start piece fell into Moleville, and a couple of kids named Dinah and Might got trapped in the mines. I never got that, by the way. Wow. I feel like a fucking retard of them. The, the first time I played through this game a thousand times, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, Dynamite. Uh, but it's okay. Mario will save him. Ori and Yoshi raced Boshi on Yoshi's Isle and won the whole thing. It's not good at racing or keeping rhythm, so I'm glad Mario was here. Mario is here to be so amazing at everything. Let's read these as well. You just like hit right or left or yeah, there we are. Oh, beautiful. Just do that. Uh, let's see. They're on fire, but do they get hot or burned? No matter what you ask them, they just keep burning away. What goes on in their little minds? Piranha plant. They face upward and snap their jaws, threatening before biting. They haven't realized that this telegraphs their attacks for action commands. Children eventually become parents, carried and thrown by their own young. Thus, magmites were ways passed from generation to generation. Let's see, careless detonations can lead to cavens. So if the miners of Moleville see one of these around the mines, they leave the area immediately. Some think the cluster's crystal body is armor to guard their true form and magic. Insiders must be well protected. Uh, before he knew it, the three fledging thieves he met on Rose Away took to him as the leader. They have since had many successful escapes as a gang. Beautiful. Cute. I'm glad I uh, analyzed him the second time. It's fucked up though that he can miss that. You found a bomb, now we'll bust through in no time. Alrighty, stand back. Let's follow the tracks to the end. What? The star? It's probably in the back. Well, let's mosey along now. Ah, oh, I guess you're right. I'd just be a burden on you fellows. Well then, I'm counting on you to find the kids, you hear? Well, thanks a lot, Mario. I guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. Yeah, it's so much weirder with the, uh... Boris. Shit. There we go. Uh, level eight, nice. Plus three. Oh, plus three. Flower power. Probably going with that one. Uh, plus four, not bad. Plus one is bad. Plus two, not terrible. Hmm, it's kind of a toss up. 4 HP or plus 2 magic attack. Huh. Yeah, it's actually a bit of a tough one. Um, 2's not bad. And he is like more magic focused than offense. Uh, let's go magic. Nice. How many coins do we got actually? 391, not bad. We jump down here, don't we get hit by something? Yep. We get a frog going. Amazing how much of the shit you remember.
Something down here, right? No. Yeah, it's just like such a like simple, basic game, but even then, it really pushed the Super Nintendo to its limits. It's like short and sweet and fucking good. It's just a great game. And jump over those fuckers. There we go. Uh, should we just save? Yeah, let's save again. It's kind of a tricky one to get. I think max flower power you get is uh, 99. Probably kept the same, honestly. Oh, I fucking love Punchinello. He's so fucking great. Oh, please tell me he talks like James Bond still. I think Ted Woolsey wanted to call this motherfucker James Bomb. He's got like a smiley face on his chest. Like, what the fuck is he? Like, he's such a weird thing. Punchinello, never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You will make me famous. So long. Like, it's the same thing with Balome, where Balome's just in the fucking sewer, right? Balome, you just have this four-eared, four-eyed, fucking, like tribal tattoo dog living in the sewers with like magical powers here you just have a crazy fucking pyromaniac just in the mines chucking bombs at everything i think he's related to nuts cracker from popple mail yeah it's the same energy it really is Um, let's do a Thought Peak. So cheek, everything's so cheek. So my one concern, right, is if I use a triple move and fuck him up, that's not gonna like completely kill him, right? Can't be a one shot. is kind of a lot. Not bad, not bad. Now let's level things up. Alright, so now... Alright, so it does a lot, but not like a shit ton. It's like essentially three attacks in one. Oh, Layla, what are you doing, girl? I love you. What are you doing? You're blocking my view, baby girl. Oh, I love this dog so much. Let's try a fireball. Gah. All right, you asked for it. Oh, the good old meso bombs. Super jump, fuck you. Resistance, I thought it was weird they wasn't reacting. Shit. All right, well, let's use another Thunderbolt. Now, these guys are almost dead, though. I want to do it. They do hit pretty hard. Ah, uh, we'll use another Thunderbolt. Yeah, 
Ugh. I must be dreaming. I'm ruined. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not going to waste this on you. Who knows what might happen. Take your best shot. Enough, I've had my pride. Now you're in for it. Huh? What the hey? Why isn't it working? <laughs> yeah. You don't see death too many times in Mario games. Mario, if this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Scram now. Eh. It's gonna blow. No! <laughs> it's like the end of a cure, holy shit. Tetsuo Canada! What on earth was that? Well, we won the battle, and I hope we don't lose the war. Where's dynamite in the star? Guess that part's been answered. Huh. In the original one, like, as it's, like, falling through, Mario, like, backs up, and then he, like, bumps into uh, Mario or Gino, and you, like, see him, like, pantomime, like, turning around, be like, sorry. <laughs> and the other one's be like, ah, no problem. I'm mad they cut that out. That was actually a funny moment. Uh, come on, Mario, hurry. Been having Animu Nights in my Discord for about a month now. Good times. Last series was finished was Paranoia Agent. I've never heard of that one. I fucking have to uh, check it out. Um, if I'm free, I'll fucking hop in and lurk. Nice. Three stars, baby. Three of seven. Uh, Penori Agent was made by Satoshi Kon, the perfect blue guy. Not bad. R.I.P. King, you're taking too soon. Yeah, but uh, perfect blue was pretty good. Um, come on, we still have to find dynamite. Oh, God damn, I'm fading fast. Yeah, it's amazing how tired I get now. It's the AIDS. Uh, this won't budge. Uh, I hate this stupid thing. Help me. Give me in this. Give the minecart a push. Yeah, like having like this tiny sprite be the little fucking mole girl and the little baby brother on the back. I mean, you couldn't fucking see that shit in the original one. Um, I mean, I kind of put two and two together and assumed that's what the sprite was supposed to be, but still, it's cool being able to see it, how it's supposed to look. I yeah, will read it. A to break, B to jump, X to accelerate. Accelerate, jump, me. Ugh, oh, cool. Yeah, my cart ride. Yippee, this is gonna be fun. Get fucked, Gino and Malo. Oh, it's weird seeing this not in mode 7. Shit, you fucker. Shit. Still hard as hell. Yeah, it's kind of a pointless minigame, but like, I don't know, it's still appreciated. It's fun just having it. I don't think that you get anything for having a good time. It's just, you know, if you're writing down the, uh... Your fucking times and shit. I guess you get a bunch of coins. Not that you need them, really. I don't know, it's just nice to have... Um, some fun shit to do. Because this game has a metric fuck ton of, uh... 
mini games. God, why did I go this way? Why did I go this way? It's a horrible way to go. Jesus Christ. Damn, you really gotta slow down for those uh, tight turns. At least going into them. Yeehaw, motherfucker! Much more Louisiana the music. Oh, that's new. <laughs> I like the fireworks, Jesus. Right about that time, the Duke boys were gone, crashing the fucking ass. I wonder how those kids are doing. Sure wish they'd hurry home. Hold your horses, Ma. I asked Marty to help out, so I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good and ready. I just had this odd feeling they'll be dropping in on us in a minute now. You still gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down. We are home. Gracious, they really did drop in on us. Oh, my poor babies, are you okay? Little Mite, are you hurt? Nah, we're okay, Ma. Isn't that right, Mite? We had fun. Mama. Oh, God. He's, <laughs> he's the little fucking baby from Dinosaurs. I, I d don't remember anything about the dinosaurs other than people would quote that goddamn fucking baby. He's been knocked senseless, you poor baby. You're safe now. Shaken baby syndrome. Dinah, haven't I told you enough to never go into your minds by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. We haven't thanked Mario proper either. I'm so embarrassed. Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. What's that? The roof, you say? Nah, it don't matter none. Right, Pa? It ain't nothing at all. You just leave any repairs with me. Give me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. Thanks again for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Mite, and the star piece, but where's Peach? Anything, don't be a stranger now. I'll be heading to the mountain to fix up the roof. But you come back and see us again, you hear? Probably ride was fun. Can we go again? I reckon Dad is taking a liking to you, Mario. Alright, and we are gonna get the, um. Uh. The secret in the forest before we, uh, head out. Come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Boosters and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play. We'll take good care of you. Uh, I like what they said, Mr. Beetle. Yeah, like, Sniffits is another thing that Mario, like, they just stopped using. It's so weird. Mario and Shy Guys. The same thing from, like, Yoshi's Island and, uh, Mario 2. Actually, dare to that Beetle. It's a present for Booster. That's right, just hand it over nice and easy. Yeah, like, uh, they said, or we won't be your friend. Booster really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. That's right, he's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. So we're catching beetles for him. So hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please. Oh, I just realized I didn't um, use Psychopath on the tiny bombs or the meso bombs. Fuck. Oh no, it's getting away. Quick, catch it. Catch it. Look at my pretend store. Would you like a shiny stone? If you bring me fireworks, I'll give you a shiny stone, you fucking bitch. I'll kill you! Check me out, Booster's Tower. It's filled with neat stuff. Ma's off gossiping. <laughs> Gospeling again. 
She's been gone for hours. You like fireworks? I'm going on my very own invention now. I've only got the sparklers down, but I ain't giving up. Want to buy one for 500 coins? Thanks, he's away for my masterpiece. Come back with more coins and buy my inventions, right? Ooh, that was like all of my coins. Shit. I want that shiny stone, though. That's how you get one of the uh, super boss fights. No M's left. Thank you, please. Come again, ooh woo. I heard there's a rumor that Boozer's new girlfriend fell from the sky. She's supposed to be pretty, too, just like a princess. And who would have thought a girl could fall out of the sky? Maybe it's Princess Peach. Nah. Knew everything was gonna go alright when you showed up. Thank goodness those kids are safe. Good luck finding that princess of yours soon. This hole left... This hole was my... Oh, God. This hole my wife dug is a shortcut to the trolley. It's an amusement ride, and I needed Moleville Mountain. Ain't it nifty. Drop in here and you'll be right on the trolley tracks. So it only cost you 10 coins. High score is, um, oh yeah, 234.41. So you want to ride it? Um, I feel like you don't actually get anything other than uh, the coins, which, yeah, you can get a lot of coins from it. So you'll, like, never be broke in this game. You just did dick around with some of the uh, side quests. If you're tired, just go to the inn and rest. In my free time, I might fuck around with that and give it a shot. Me, a name I call myself, tea, a drink of jam and bread. That's not really as it goes. I'm bored, but if you go to the mountain, they'll sing you a real song. Oh, Todovsky probably has a new song, by the way. I also do that a little bit. God, there's so many like little side quests in this game, it's crazy. Hear about my husband? He's starting a business using that shortcut I dug. It's honestly one of the reasons why when there's not enough side quests in an older JRPG, I get kind of pissy. Because I kind of expect that shit. Like little fun things. It doesn't have to be anything big, but it's nice to have them. Uh, you hear about my husband? He started a business using the shortcut I dug. Plan on hanging the sign on calling it Moleville Mountain or something. By the way, do you have any items you want to get rid of? How many items will take him off for you? You know, store or nothing, but you won't get any money for him, but I'll give you points. For every 100 points, you get a gift. Uh, let's give... A pure water. Uh, Sleepy Bomb, we could use the, this one. Yeah, let's use one Croca Cola. Although that's a lot of money that we could have. Oh well. Freight Bomb, Fire Bomb, Ice Bomb. They're all quite rare and hard to come by. They're cool. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, if we come back, we could probably save up for, like, the ice bomb or something. Take a, ri a ride on Paz Trolley, Mario. Just neat if you have extra, uh, items. But definitely not vital. I reckon Dan's taking out. Okay, we already talked to these fuckers. I thought maybe they'd say something different. So what, the uh, Todovsky music and also... Oh shit, I forgot about this little fucker. Sure wish I had a Carbo cookie. Look at how the fuck you get those Carbo cookies. I completely forgot how you... Uh, maybe it's like way later in the game, but you can get that fucker out of there. There is an item called a Carbo cookie. And hey, there's so much, like, little, like, secret shops and shit here. Hey there, remember me from the mines? I found some neat stuff. I'm opening up a miner store. Come take a look what I got to sell. Lucky jewel. Sell to you for 100 coins. I don't even have 100 coins. But I can sell... This shit. This shit. Uh, the Koopa shell. And one... Kero Kero Cola, baby. Oh, this one thing we haven't really gotten too much of at all in this game is uh, lucky um, draws. I mean, they made it way easier to get the 
like, win the lucky draw, but way, way rare to, like, have a chance at the lucky draw. Alright, so we have to go back to him occasionally. Nice shiny stone. Oh, God. To Scrooge. Is it just, all it does is take you to the uh, Midas River course, doesn't it? Fuck. Can't get inside Booster's Tower very easily. Whoa. You'll need a really strong person for that. You know, Booster, he's a weirdo living in the tower uh, a little way from here. Oh, I think the idea is that you get free, like, infinite free shots at the uh, Midas River course, but it's only 30 coins, like, what, 15 or 30 coins to try? And, and even then, you still have to, like, play the whole fucking thing to get a frog coin per attempt. But in theory, yes, you could get infinite uh, frog coins there. Hey, mister, did you ride on my pause trial? He says I'm too young for it. We're actually not going to do that. Not yet, anyway. A fucking great game. Seriously. That's a long load time. Into the uh, map. I load all the water and all the fucking polygons and shit. And, uh... The Grandpa Tadpole, um... Frog Fuchsius. He'll always like kind of tell you where you need to go next, which is nice. Um, fuck, we're gonna go there and also in the forest. But first, let me check out the Mushroom Kingdom. I want to talk to this cunt and also see if there's anyone uh, sleeping in. Yeah, not yet. DSP is still playing his fucking Game Boy. A fuchsia says an infant in your lap may dampen your spirits. Fuck, I want to say it's in here. I don't think he, uh, Samus shows up until Marymore. I think it's in the guest bedroom. Yeah, but it's a very narrow window. So we actually had to check back uh, quite frequently. So make sure we don't miss it. I think it's after Mary Morta, though. Oh, wait, there's the hidden guy. Triple monster, smash them all. Trust me on this one. I wonder how the, like, the boss fight repeats work. Like, if you have to, um... Go back to where you fought the bosses, or... Do that, like, after you beat the fucking game. I kinda don't wanna go back to the ending of each area. It's kind of a lot of work, but... I wouldn't be against it. Alright, let's go in the forest maze real quick. Where are we going? Left, left, straight, right. Yep, left, left, straight, right. Well, this shouldn't take too long. We also get a metric fuck ton of mushrooms. Because some of these, um, you can give to the, the mushroom guy in, uh, Seaside Town, get all sorts of crazy cool shit. Yeah, the areas in this game really aren't that long, truly. They really just fly right the fuck through them. I think it's just random. Here we're just getting like really good draws, I think.
There we go. Easy. Nice. Oh, we got a nice honey syrup. Sick. Any free refills of FP is always welcome. Left, left, straight, right. Left, left, straight, right. No, 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 no. Left. Left. Straight. Right. No! Beautiful. Also, with the map feature, we can just warp the fuck out of here. That's awesome. Nice. All right. Well, fuck. Uh, that's a like a free frog coin and two uh, free FP increases per melee. At 34, not bad. Map. Yeah, we can just go right to Tadpole Pond from here. It's a nice little quality of life feature. I dig it. Of course, this is gonna take a little bit. Makes that simple. All right, circle six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right, we're gonna do our best. like the Besaid Aurochs before us. God damn it now or whatever. Five. This doesn't really matter. This wouldn't have been the melody anyway. Two, four. Two, four, and eight. Going there slowly. Very slowly. One, two, we need the three, four, five, and we need the six. We need the six and the three. Thank you. 
Is that it? Is that it? Are we good? Alright, it's gonna be a real low note. that one nice beautiful I think he could fucking do this shit for himself honestly uh, this is the melody I've been looking for thank you for the inspiration please take this as a token of my gratitude if you ever need if I ever need comp oh god if I ever need help with my compositions again I'll look for you here until then I do I do too Let's see what we got here. What crazy shit we're able to buy. Oh wait, that's the tadpole you meet later on when you're in a seaside village or a seaside town. Yeah, there's so many like cool recurring characters in this game. I'm a tenor card holder, huh? Well, it'll be. Uh, now we can buy a finless cola for 90. Do we want it? I mean. If we can hold it. What's the next time we're going into a town where we have to buy stuff? Not until Mary Moore. Okay. Is there anything else we uh, could do here for now? I don't think so. Um, part of me will kind of want to look on at how the um, recurring boss fights work, but I kind of don't also want to. I don't want to also spoil it for myself. I also want to know if I have to like go into like where you fought the previous bosses, and you can just do that any time or what. I'm not really sure. But uh, let's go into Moleville, save and call it. So I'll hold off. I'll uh, continue to discover this shit on my own. See, which I like how um, YouTube and the recommended video feed on your right, because I watched the trailer for this game by uh, at Nintendo. They like recommend me like, oh, here's a you know boss fucking archive, boss fight archives video on uh, the remake for Coolex. That's like kind of spoiling what the fuck he looks like in the thumbnail. That's like, goddamn, dude, fuck off. Let me discover this shit for my own. That's what I'm saying. It's part of why I, like, keep pointing out just the, uh, I don't know, just the loss of fucking soul. I don't know. With the modern trend chasers and influencers, you know? But anyway, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this game is cool. I recommend it. Uh, however you can play it. Original or remake or emulation, whatever, it's good. But uh, tomorrow morning we'll be doing some more Tales of Destiny. That game is very linear, honestly. Um, like, there's the overworld, but there's really not much to do in the overworld except go to the one place the game wants you to go to. So, eh, I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. Much love. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Um, seriously. You guys are important, too. Only shit, fall apart. Peace out, guys.